Good morning, I'm Jim Kilgore with Real Penny Toyota in Huntsville, Alabama. Today we're going to talk about the Toyota Prius. Toyota Prius has over 54% of the marketplace worldwide with the hybrid, which is the electric motor as well as the gas motor. For this year, Toyota USA is slated to sell over 200,000 of the Prius. The Prius comes in four models. They all have the same engine, which is a 1.8 liter, four-cylinder, gas-powered, along with the electric motor. Net horsepower is 134 horses. If you notice the top of the car is raised, this is called an apex slide. It gives passengers more room inside the car, even if you're over six foot tall. As far as storage area in the car, you can store almost 22 cubic feet of cargo. Back seats are split 60 40. Both sides fold down to give it even more room. Storage area in the back. Spare tires also in the back, safely out of the weather. Now, if you'll join me inside the car, we'll go over controls. This is the smart key. This controls the entry into the vehicle as well as facilitating control of starting and stopping the engine. Basically, this device could be kept in your purse or in your pocket at all times and never touched. When you exit the vehicle to lock it, there are some control knobs on the door panel that you push, which automatically locks all the doors. When you get ready to enter the vehicle and you get within 2.7 feet of the car, you lay a hand behind the latch, it automatically unlocks the driver's side door. For safety reasons, it only unlocks the driver's side, and then at that point, the driver can unlock the other doors for any additional passengers. To start the vehicle, this has to be inside the car. The driver puts his foot on the brake and press the power start button. On all models, you have Bluetooth connectivity via your cell phone, which means hands-free telecommunication. You have controls to change radio from AM, FM, the CD player, turn the volume up and down, as well as turn the radio off. You also have controls for the temperature at the driver's fingertips. With the display, if you'll notice up on the instrumentation panel, when I depress the display button, we've had two displays come up. Here you can, can make changes to, under a trip, if you hold it, there's 136 miles on this car, you notice it on the odometer, there's a trip A, which hasn't been re reset, and there's 181.9s to reset it, you simply press and hold, it resets it to zero. There's also trip B, so you can maintain two distance guides. Again, pressing and holding eliminates it. As far as the display, you can change. Notice that here the settings press and hold resets. Or you can go in and make changes to the system. As far as gasoline consumption, fuel consumption, calendar, the driver has a lot of opportunity to change things on the vehicle. This display is an energy monitor. This shows the interaction of the gas motor, the electric motor as you're driving. You'll see arrows coming from the electric motor to the front wheels and, and also back to the electric motor and back to the battery as you're driving, so showing the interaction between where the energy source is. This is a hybrid system indicator. This is a graphical presentation as you're driving. You'll see a graph. You will change from charge when you're just sitting in an idle mode with the gas motor running and then it's a graphically presentation as you're driving and if you accelerate real hard the graph will move totally over to the power mode. This gives you 15 minute increments as far as performance. This is the eco savings. This is a historical presentation of cost of fuel and operation of the vehicle. You notice we have the ready light on here. That's indicating that we have the electric motor running. The gas motor at this time is not running. And we've got a fairly decent charge on the vehicle's um, hybrid battery. So with the air conditioner running, we can sit here probably for 10 or 15 minutes without any gas interaction from the gas motor. As far as instrumentation, <coughs> we have cruise control on all the models. Wiper washer, headlights, standardized by Toyota, 
the cruise controls on the right hand side of the steering wheel, wiper washers on the right hand side, the lights are always on the left. <coughs> this is a 6.1 inch screen, which is touch screen. Notice I'm changing the channel here between 106.1 and 90.1. Um, you have a single disc CD player. Under this, this is a graphical presentation as far as consumption of fuel. Again, you have Bluetooth, you have AM, FM, and a single disc CD player. These are the controls here for the climatizing of the vehicle. We can set it up for auto. In the summertime, when you turn down the temperature extremely low, the fan speed of the car is going to automatically go to high. As the car starts to cool down, the fan speed will automatically cycle down. It's a single zone temperature control. Normal driving condition, you always have fresh air coming into the cabin. In the summertime, when you do turn on the AC unit, it's automatically going to close down the fresh air, recirculating and to cool off the, the cabin quicker. We have three new power modes with the redesign of the third generation of the Prius. EV mode, which is total electric, as long as you stay below 25 miles an hour and you've got a full charge on the electric battery, you can drive in EV mode without any gas assistance whatsoever. In the economy mode, you cut back <coughs> on the horsepower of the vehicle to give you better performance. Power mode, if you feel like when you're entering the interstate, you need that little extra get up and go, you can put it in power mode. Once you merge into traffic on the expressway, turn it off. The power mode and eco modes have to be turned off manually. However, in the EV mode, if the driver accelerates above 25 miles an hour, the EV mode is automatically turned off. Glove compartments, we have an upper and a lower compartment items that you need frequently, uh, insurance cards, uh, registration, etc. I would store in the upper portion. Owner's manual, items that you don't use more frequently, I would store in the bottom portion. For the first time, you now can get a power seat in the Prius. In the uh, level four and the five, you can get a driver passenger or driver side electric uh, power seat. Um, some of the options range from solar panel roof with a moon roof on it. Solar panel in the summertime facilitates cooling of the vehicle. If you set it, the car up, you've got fresh air circulating through the car from being powered by the solar panel. When you have the solar panel and the moon roof, you also have a remote start on the AC unit. So what you can do with it. Remote start AC unit is actually start the air conditioner when you're within 30 yards of the car. So when you enter the car, it is pre cool. If you inadvertently start the AC and don't come to the car, it will cycle down and shut itself off automatically. As far as interaction between some of the components, uh, we have a, a product called Safety Connect. In the event that you're involved in a uh, head on crash and the airbags deploy, a call center is notified that, that this has happened and the call center will facilitate contacting the, the police and medical authorities. <coughs> they will also contact the driver to ensure that they are safe. For the first time, um, well, let's cut, cut right